Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on live stream music. Thank you for stopping by. Well, coming again today, you're very, very welcome. I trust you enjoyed my last video on the Jay Giles Band and through that forlorn tile, tale, I should say, of My Blood Run Colds, My Angel is a Centerfold. <laughs> Imagine, just imagine that scene. <laughs> we looked at, well, of course, at the centerfold of our hearts, aren't they? So, oh, there we go. So I trust you found that one encouraging. We're going from there to, um, I suppose, Australian music, rock royalty today a little bit. 1964, Stanthorpe in Queensland. Uh, this guy, I suppose, very stereotypically grew up on a, grew up on a sheep and cattle station. And uh, it was in 1987 when he um, entered the Starkers Quest uh, Country Music Association, they actually won that one and he got um, a bit of a, a record a song thing. Um, and like, following that last year, he also got a golden guitar in Tamworth, the Tamworth Country Music Festival for the best new talent. So he got pretty, he's got this guy, James Blundell, we're talking about today, kind of hit the ground running and sort of made the most of the opportunities he was given. Signed so to EMI in 1989. And it came out the official, uh, I suppose, the self title album. And off that album, got the Clunk Curry Cattle Song based on, on an Australian poet. It's just a bit of a if you can do a country song, you're going to tell a bit of a story. Because the minute you tell a bit of a story, you've got people in wondering what on earth is going to happen. And so we've got the official clip of Clunk Curry Cattle Song. 1989 and 1990, he got Vocalist of the Year for the Country Music Association of Australia. So this guy was getting recognised for the industry. It's pretty, pretty hard to get uh, country music awards in this country. And this guy was actually doing, because he's got a pretty, pretty good, he's got a great voice, songwriter as well. And then out in 1990 came the album Hand, Handed Down. Uh, this has got, got best album and best vocal again in, the, in those awards. And of that official clip, we, we got the official clip of Age of Grace. This is all about looking back to the good old days, good old fashioned values, good old everything. Of course, country, the country people all around the world try to hang on to the value, those values, don't they? Because they know that they kind of work. So age of grace, grace, um, just grace means undeserved favour and undeserved gifts. And so grace just is this beautiful word that really captures what it is to be human in the most beautiful of ways. So we've got the official clip of that one. In 1992, um, uh, he uh, released a song with James Rain, of course, the iconic Australian core, core Frank man. And when he was solo, I actually featured this song a couple of videos, videos ago when I did James Rain, but I thought I'd put it in again because at number two in the ARIA charts, we got a live version of Way Out West, you know. Way Out West, um, I left my job and I left my wife, I went out west to find a brand new life. We did make comment about last, that last time, but we got the live version of that one. Also in 1992, out came his iconic album, This Road. This um, album got to number four in the RE charts, Australian Record Industry Association. We got the official clip of This Road. And, you know, I was born to, to run the white line to see what adventure awaits me. The thing about being on the road, I think, as a musician is that, you know, it's an adventure, you know, you're going to your next gig, and the road could be long, as we know. But, you know, it is an adventure, absolutely. And, you know, being out on the open road, um, the sunset ahead of you, the sunrise behind you, looking at whatever that, whatever else is happening, it's pretty, pretty cool. There's something about the freedom of that, something about the excitement of the unknown about that. And I was talking a little while ago, I went to Tasmania over the Christmas break, and, you know, it was planned, planned just very, very briefly, really, but I went on some amazing roads in Tasmania, absolutely, and I loved that road trip. In fact, I turned right out of Hobart Airport, which is down the bottom, and I turned left back into it. So that's where the circle kind of finished, including a 1 a.m., well, 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. drive in the middle of the night, uh, just watching out for animals on the side of the road. But I love Tasmania. I love the adventure of the road trip. You know, we know we're really, really alive when we're pushing to areas where we've never been. And even though I'd been to Tasmania a couple of times, I couldn't really remember it that much. But I worked it out as I went. 
<laughs> I do remember one particular corner I was going on, mind you, and I was just about, and I was going around on my side of the road. Next minute, there was a guy overtaking this really, really slow moving van. I reckon the van might have been doing 40 in an 80. He was on my, the guy was on my side of the road. I thought, oh gosh, I just moved over a little bit and we both got around. But gosh, you don't expect that sort of thing, do you? And this is the thing about being out of the road, you never know what to expect. But because we have that kind of mindset about us of adventure, we just kind of roll with it when we do. And um, I think this is the great thing about adventure, and that is we don't always plan it, we just do it. We, we want to have an adventure, we have an adventure. And you know, we, we, the detail comes later. And I think many in many ways, you know, if we think about the things that we plan, uh, there's truly two stages. There's the broad-based thing about, hey, we're going to go out for someone's birthday. And then the detail comes, hey, where are we going? You know, we book the date, we're all going out for someone's birthday, but then the fine detail, okay, where are we going? How many people and all that sort of it. So there's always two stages to adventure, the broad-based plan, but then the detail, which often comes as you're on the, on the adventure. So he loves this road. He was born to ride the white line. And this official clip is just such so beautifully short, shot about James, um, James Blundell just doing what he loves, that, that, and that's performing live on the road. So we've got the official clip on that one. Let's always have adventures. Let's always push into the unknown. In um, 2007, out came, we got a bit of an acoustic version. I thought I'd put an acoustic version of Ring Around the Moon. This was released off the album of the same name in 2007. We've got a live clip of that one. Um, between, in 2007, he got inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. Um, he's already, already received one win, one ARIA award from five nominations. Uh, one APRA win from three nominations and three nominations in 10 Country Music um, Awards. So this guy's Australian rock uh, country music royalty, absolutely. He just knows exactly how to write the songs and to perform them live. So good on you, James, for winning all of those accolades. Between 1989 and 2023, how long is that career, by the way? Let's try and work it out. 23 plus 11, 34 years, 34 year career. I think I've got that right. <laughs> um, 12 studio albums, two compilation albums, and there has been some singles in there. Sold around 400,000 albums. So in the scheme of things, pretty, pretty significant, you know. It's good to actually get album sales, and this guy's absolutely done that. Done it so well, in fact, that he's been kept on by the recording company. So um, the links to those five clips are in the description below, and I'll also included my last video from the Jay Giles band, if you want to get recap on them feel free. Well, this is your first time to live reflection to music, or you've come back for another one, we consider this thing of road trips and adventure. I trust you've all been encouraged today. Well, that's it for today. Next time, we're going to get onto a bit of a band-leaving movie and shaker from the 70s, James Last. So until then, I'll catch you around. Bye for now.